Today we celebrate our volunteers. It's Volunteer Appreciation Day. You know, God is on the move at DCN. So many lives are being changed, hearts are being transformed, minds are being changed as God begins and continues to do an amazing work in people's lives. And people are hearing about it. People want to be where God is. And because of that fact, the church has been growing. The church has been growing dramatically, and with the growth of numbers of people coming, the ministry needs have also been growing as well. And it's, it provides wonderful opportunities for people to be involved in ministry service. Now, most churches suffer from what's called the 80-20 rule, where 80% of the work is done by typically 20% of the people. But at DCN, it's different. At DCN, oh, almost two-thirds of all of our active attendees are involved in serving volunteer ministry. What's amazing is if you take a look at the number of active members in the church, it goes up to over 80%. So what is it that makes DCN different? What is God doing here at DCN that is involving so many people in ministry leadership? Well, I thought it made, would make some sense to go ahead and ask some of the very people that do the ministry work themselves. So I did ask them that. A little bit later, listen, because they also have some advice for those that are thinking about being involved in ministry but are not yet involved in volunteer service. Let's, let's listen. I love kids. I love teens. Um, and I love Jesus. So I like it when God shows up. Plus, uh, the teens are crazy, and I'm a little certifiable myself, so it uh, works out good. <laughs> um, I love working with the, the, little, the little ones. Um, I just enjoy spending time with them and teaching them and playing with them. Well, they say the volunteers don't get paid. But they're wrong because we get paid in blessings from God. We get paid in, in affirmation from uh, other people. And just the, knowing that, that we're doing what God wants us to do is, is a wonderful uh, incentive to be blessed. Pastor Dan has been really good. It's been a good balance between encouraging us to use our gifts but not feeling like we're forced to do things. And uh, so it's just really enjoyable to uh, work in that kind of uh, setting. Yeah, everyone's very positive. Um, it's great to be using um, the gifts and the talents um, that we have. And it's just a real positive feeling. I enjoy working with the kids and the people because they're a lot of fun. It's great to meet people and, and just kind of build a sense of community when you get to be involved in work with others. I think I got a better sense of community and it helps me, you know, sort of feel like I'm a part of the church in a way taking ownership of what's going on and not just being like a, you know, a passive um, observer. Yeah, I think just, I think it's hard to feel a part, you know, of, of the church when you don't have the ability to do things with others and, and volunteering really gets you to know other people. And, Makes it more fun. Serving kind of enables, like, you got a chance to open up your heart to what's going on, like, within the church, within other people's lives. So, uh, definitely relationships, and uh, and just a, a personal like growth with him. It's been awesome. I love it. I love DCN. I think my biggest thing too is relationships with other people. Um, just getting to meet some of the people that I get to work alongside. Getting mm -hmm. to meet some of the newer people that come to the church every week and um, really just kind of chit-chatting with them and kind of getting to know them better yeah. um, on a more deeper level. Yeah. I just enjoy the uh, honest, open atmosphere. I've been in a lot of churches before. I've been in big churches, I've been in small churches and everything in between. And there's just a real open, honest uh, atmosphere here that uh, I feel that I I feel, I feel safe here, I feel like I can grow here, I feel like no one's pushing anything down my throat or having any agenda, I don't feel like I'm being used or, or, or you know, for, for any purposes or anything like that. I just it's, just, it's just a really happy place to, uh, to really let God use the gifts that he's given me. Yeah, it's, uh, you get a real sense of purpose using the uh, talents and the gifts that God's given you um, without any pressure, um, and 
it's very fulfilling and um, the presence of the Lord's here and it's just good to be doing what God wants me to be doing and um, and also just to influence other people serving in Sunshine Street just to see those little kids telling them about God and they uh, smile and laugh and you have fun doing it and just being an instrument to show God's love. Yeah, it's, it's not great. it's not a lot of hype, you know, it's just uh, a lot of, uh, it's, you know, what's happening here, I think the Lord is just really, you know, there's, there's some really cool, honest to goodness, down to earth uh, move of the Spirit happening here, so. I want to hear you say words to me, well done. I want to hear you say, good and faithful servant. I want to hear you say, I've prepared a place for you. Let all the treasures of this world fade away. Jesus, you are my Everybody should do whatever God calls them to do because then you feel like you're part of the community, that you're uh, growing the community, and that um, God has a special place for you. Now, one of the nicest things about being the church the size we're at is there's plenty of places to serve. It's not like a big church where, you know, uh, you got to stand in line and you know you feel like there's people who are almost professionals doing everything you know from the you know there's there's not like a teacher or a principal in charge of the uh, of the of the uh, Christian teaching uh, center or whatever it's just uh, you know it's it's a place where you can really there's just a lot of, a lot of needs and no matter what your gift is there's some place where you can really uh, make a difference yeah there's a lot of need and there's well, one good thing is there's no pressure. You know, if you feel it's not a right fit for you, you can change and do something else. Um, if you want to get connected, you want to get to know people, um, that's what you need to do is jump in, get to know people. Um, it's, it's just great. It's just a relaxed atmosphere, and you just do what you like to do. I know, and that's a cool thing too. It's like sometimes you volunteer and then you feel trapped. Okay, you're now the person and you're going to have to do it forever and ever until you die. <laughs> you can do something for three months or for a season and then say, okay, well, I've done it and now maybe God has something else for me to do or maybe I tried it and I need to try something else and no one's going to think, well, gee, you just kind of quit and gave up on us. What are we going to do now? It's, it's not that way. It's not that atmosphere. So. Do it. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> do it. Yeah, definitely do it because it, it's you really it's you're just coming here every Sunday and you're just here for the hour and a half that you're here. It's really hard to make a connection with people and uh, to get to know people. So the best way to get to know people, I think, is serve alongside them. It's like an investment that um, has the best return rate.
I think. You just, you, you gain so much, um, I don't know, you just get a lot of love. And the relationships are awesome. And so we have a great church, great people. Awesome. I agree.